Over the past two decades, the Catholic Church has renewed its commitment to minister to young people. Youth ministry is much more than just programs. The vision of youth ministry defined by the bishops is much broader in scope than any previous model and may require a new way of thinking and ministering to youth. The bishops have said that all ministry to youth must be directed toward presenting young people with the good news of Jesus Christ and inviting and challenging them to become his disciples. Now with this in mind, Springfield Bishop Mitchell Rosansky recently appointed a new director of youth ministry for the Diocese of Springfield. Gina Serwinski was named to the post this past summer, a position that had been vacant in the diocese for several years. I sat down with her recently to talk about her visions and hopes going forward. Since late summer, Serwinski has been working with the bishop and parishes in the diocese, developing a mission assessing needs. The biggest need right now is for support for youth ministry. Uh, those who are in the field, that are, that are in the parishes, that are working as catechists or religious educators or as youth ministers, really just need to be supported and know that what they're doing, you know, is, is important and it's making a difference. Not every parish in the diocese has a youth minister, says Serwinski, with an official title, that is. But, she says, many are doing the job. Every parish uh, needs to see that people working with youth are youth ministers, not necessarily one person is a youth minister, but that catechists, people working with youth, are youth ministers, that the pastor is a youth minister, you know, that the religious educators are youth ministers. Serwinski previously worked in fundraising and development for the American Red Cross in Springfield as director of CYO in Northern Rhode Island and as a retreat coordinator of the National Shrine of Our Lady of the Snows in Belleville, Illinois. She currently lives in Southbridge with her husband and is a parishioner of St. John Paul II Parish there. She holds a bachelor's degree in theology with a concentration in religious education from the Franciscan University of Steubenville. She says it's her goal to pull out the gifts and talents of young people and involve them in the work of the church. Young people are not the church of tomorrow, they are the church of today. Every, you know, they are active members of the church and we need to recognize that. Serwinski says it all begins on the parish level with religious education. She will be working with religious educators to see what programs they are offering for our young people. What experiences are they getting the youth involved in? Are they welcoming the youth into the parish um, to be part of that faith community? Are they seeing that that is um, important? We, we keep saying it is, but if you go out to a parish, is the parish really inviting those youth? She encourages parishes to invite young people to use their talents on the parish level. On the diocesan level, she says young people will be invited to attend the annual March for Life in January in Washington, D.C., as well as a 10-day pilgrimage with Bishop Rosansky to World Youth Day in Poland next July. If we can get the parishes themselves working on this and talking about these issues around youth and young adults, in the long run, that's going to be better for the life of the parish. And I know all the parishes in the diocese are really working hard to see that young people are recognized and included in the life of the parish.